three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone. Three-run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. And he hits a high fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for Jose. Circles the bases and now gets the home plate. His very first home run of this season. And he is overcome by emotion again. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammer to pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Hammer, deep left center field. Way back. Goodbye. Wow. Adrian Beltre and the Rangers walk it off. Seven to six. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right. Junior has just knocked the door down for the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Hitting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball on The Show is next. Adam Conley, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he's going for that coveted 30th start today. When pitchers go to spring training, they hope they're healthy enough to get 30 starts. That tells them they've had a pretty good year. So he's had a solid season with his 30th start in this ballgame. Here's Juan Ligares. First chance for him at the plate as he comes into this one right at the 300 mark for the year. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees, 89 degrees to be exact at first pitch. To third, Prado is there. And a good throw gets him one gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Matt, this lineup has been on fire. Everybody's hitting from top to bottom. I don't know how you get them out right now. If you roll the ball up there, they'll probably golf it out of the ballpark. They've been that hot. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a shot out to right center field. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now. And he is in there safely with their first hit so far, a one-out double. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, Batting nothing third. but good things can happen. Fielder, Neither one four. of the outfielders had the wheels Milner, to catch up to it, Lawrence. and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. In now, Wilmer Flores. And he's able to fight this one off foul to the right, and the count will hold at one and two. I like the pitch right there. 
got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Here he comes again, 1 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Again, a 1 2. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Eight game streak. Right He's swinging the bat really Yohan well. Cespedes. Here's Juana Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. He's set. Here's the three and two. Line hard toward right center. Stanton is there. Let's see if they test it. And now a throw to first, and they got him. Never really had a chance with the hit and run on as he gets doubled up on the line drive. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to show for it. It's the Mets nothing. Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Steven Matz gets the starting nod for the Mets. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Settling in now, D. Gordon. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Now the one two home to Gordon lifted the other way out to left center under this is Flores and Wilmer's got it for the first down time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one who are you focused on Dan please act you know I think everyone should keep an eye on Christian Yelich he's one of those guys who wanted to plate in those big game defining moments he's such a clutch hitter I love watching him in those situations and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. In is Christian Yelich. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough where he can square it and keep it fair. And now a jump throw against his body. Bro got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Having third, right fielder, John Standing in, Giancarlo Stanton. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Here it comes on one and one. Hit to third. There to get it is right. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. Still no score. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Working for the punch out and the offering. High pop up. Echeverria is there for it. One down. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment for the Marlins. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often this club. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Yelich is after it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. First baseman number two. Stepping in, Gavin, Gavin Cicchini. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. A 
looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Mets strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Standing in, Justin Bohr. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. Here's another 2 2. Now here's a swing and a high pop up drifting into shallow right field. Reynolds will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. We're looking at one of the best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in fielding percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're going to have to earn it if you want to beat these guys. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hard sinker misses two and two. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matt, Clyde's known for that low strike, man. Sometimes maybe even a tad bit low on the knees. But as a hitter, if you know what he's going to call, it's okay. You can respect that. Just be Adding consistent, pitch. Clyde. That's all. Third baseman. Martin, Martin Prado now. Prado. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. Comes in with six hits in 16 tries. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Another one two delivery. On the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll move to the third with no score. A great shot there of the blue waters and long sandy stretches of Miami Beach. Back now for the top of the third inning on the show. Now at the plate, Stephen Matz, 9 1 and 2 due up. Here's the pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball is lined into left to base hit. Well, they thought the inning was going to be set up nice. The pitcher's leading off to get a quick out. Instead, he gets a base hit, and now here comes the top of the order. Look out. Into the box, one Ligaris in the dirt, and now let's see. Not in time. He's in there at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera. He swings and grounds it to short. Echeverria's there. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Wilmer Flores. A base hit in his first trip. One and one, here it comes. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Third inning, no score to this point. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Yelich is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. Home half of the third coming up, no score. 
stepping up to the plate. JT Real Muto, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And the Marlins had their first hit of the game. The throw into second. And he is in there. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's Echeverria now, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Soft liner to the right side, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Coming to the plate now, Adam Conley, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, Matt, this is a situation in last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, you capitalize on it. You grow from your mistakes and be able to come back and deliver in this one here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And, oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball oh, right tomorrow. there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Into the box now. D. Gordon. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Riamuto is on his way home. And the run will score as the Marlins have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts him ahead in this ball game. They can keep a lead, get to that bullpen. They got a shot to win this game. Standing in now, Christian Yelich. Which is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Two out here and a runner at second. Line toward the alley in left center, and that gets down as he can't get there in time. Throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Yeah, Matt, if the runner's on first, this hit may or may not bring him home. But he was on second, so he cruises across the plate for the run. It's all about finding ways to manufacture runs, and they did just that there. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Riding in once again, Justin Bohr. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Ready with the one and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So a three-run blast to deep center here. Number 36 on the year for him. And the Marlins have opened this up now. It's 5-0. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five, jeez. Enough is enough. Into the box, Marcelo Zuna. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. 
Here's the pitch on two and two. Soft liner towards short. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. But not before five crossed the plate with the big blow being this three-run home run. We're through three here in Miami. It's the Marlins five and the Mets nothing. Ready for another chance? Yoenis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the one and one delivery. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone, see if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time, see if he chases it again. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. Digging in to try it again. Rene Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two two here it is. Line drive to center field and that's in there base hit. Well this is how rallies start you get one man on then you get the base hit. Look well, it's still 15, early I know they're down point. by a lot but man this is how Rattle. little things add up they need to score this inning and then from there continue to add on. Into the box now. Matt Reynolds taking all the way that time. It's three and one. Three and one with two on. And this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. Both runners are breaking. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Yelich on the move. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. First baseman number two. Stepping in and ready Gavin for another shot. Chikini. Gavin Cicchini. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Left side. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Well, that one's going to load the bases up. They held the runner up. They're really looking for a big inning right here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. No runs on six hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Jose Reyes will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Here's the two one. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. Three one count first and second. A lot of things can be happening here. I wonder if the runners start, but more importantly, get a pitch you can drive. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. The high fastball is in there. Three two with the bases loaded. Hit out towards second. He lays out for it but he can't pull it in. One run scores. 
Now the relay home. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. So one run on four hits, no errors, and two left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Marlins on top, five to one. Jarek Lugo answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Martin Prado now comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cespedes moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Stepping into the box, JT Realmuto. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Ball line fouled as that'll get over the Marlins dugout. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard towards center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. I got to think he was sitting on change of three two. That was a nice pitch and he still got the base hit. Adeni Echevarria. Stepping in now, Adani Echevarria, swing and a liner, but this will be a foul ball. One and two, here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, he hit that ball hard right there. I think he got a little bit lucky. If it's at somebody, probably a double play ball instead of a single. In now, Adam Conley. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. To Cabrera for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. The batter number nine, second base. Play. Here's D. Gordon now. He's singled and two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the one and one delivery. Swinging a soft liner. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Well, that right there shows how strong he is. That ball got in on him, but he fought it off a little soft liner to fall in the outfield and scores the run from third base. That's a strong guy right there. Into the box, Christian Yelich tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Marlins forced to settle for one. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Marlins lead this one six to one. Here's Juan Lagares. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Set to deliver on two and one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. This is one of the rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. One for two with a double on his line thus far. One run, seven hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. In there, and it's even now, two and two. On its way is pitch number 75. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hits are even at seven apiece. Ligaris runs. 
And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Digging in once again, Wilma Flores. A hit in two tries so far. Here comes the payoff pitch. But any thoughts of a throw will be academic here. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with still nobody out. As a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. Hit down the third baseline. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Now the Marlin skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Your attention. So please. he'll head to the dugout now after working just four and a third, Number not 49. enough to qualify for the victory, Brian as Ellington. his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. Brian Ellington is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Into the box now, David Wright. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. One run is scored. And the throw's going to hold that second runner over at third, so they'll just plate the one here. Now batting. Catherine. Digging in and looking Renee for more. Rene Rivera. One for two on his line so far in the game. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Foul back. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with another 2-2. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. First baseman number two, Gavin Chikini. Ready for another shot now. Gavin Chikini, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Two out, bases loaded. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Ready with the two and two. Hit on the ground to third. And this goes right past him. Oh, my. That might play two. One run scores. And the second run is across as well. And all of a sudden, it's a 6-5 ball game now. The pitcher. Digging in, Seth Lugo. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Four runs here in this half inning. 
And there's ball two now. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. He hung that one out there a bit, but it's a called strike two and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Three and two now. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Bat explodes as this has popped up, and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Nine men come to the plate for score. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins six and the Mets five. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Act, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. One down. It's fair to say that early on at least the runs have come in bunches here this afternoon a high scoring affair thus far and we're only in the fifth inning. Ready once again Justin Bohr comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deal here's the one one hit hard on the ground towards second and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well he's watched himself struggle now and his average has fallen below 240 so that's a welcome hit for him and I'm sure the manager as well. Standing in now Marcelo Zuna. Oh and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most Third pitches to be down in the 14, zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Stepping in now, Martin Prado. Oh, and he gets a fastball up in the zone, and he hammers it out to deep left field. And this baby is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Home run number nine on the year as they open up an 8-5 lead. Well, that's why you hear people say work down in the zone. That's a, such a difficult pitch to hit. But if the ball's up a little bit, these great hitters, they touch it, it's going out of the ballpark. Right there is a prime example. Digging in now, JT Real Muto. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. And that's through for a hit. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. Three for three on the day right there with the that single. He looks locked in. Don't pitch Adini to him anymore. Echeverria. In now, Adani Echeverria. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. But two in the inning for the Marlins, thanks to the two-run home run. Five innings complete. It's the Marlins eight and the Mets five. Your Brad Ziegler takes over to now start the sixth the inning on the mound. Number 29, Brad Ziegler. Ready for another chance. Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one.
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Dribbled back toward the mound. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The shortstop number 13. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Hot shot on the ground is short, fielded by Hechevarria. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim, two away. The left fielder, number four. Wilmer digging in once again. Wilmer Flores. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. Popped into the air, back behind second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Still looking up at an 8 5 deficit. Your Josh Edgen enters to do now the pitching in the New bottom York. of the sixth. Number 66, Josh Edgen. Derek Dietrich is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. And this is fouled straight back. He's set. Here's the three and two. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Here's D. Gordon now. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Line drive to left. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Well, that's his third hit of the night, and are you surprised? That's three singles. Now six, three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. Into the box now, Christian Yelich. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Tapped up the first baseline. But that one rolls foul. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode into the box Giancarlo Stanton and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field Ligaris comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two Up next Justin Bohr will step toward the box here and as he does we flash you back to inning number three as you check out his three run home run a big blow early on ready with the one one pitch and this is fouled at the plate And deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So a three run blast to straight away left. His second home run of the game as it's now a six run ball game.
Yeah, he is kicking himself right now. He worked his tail off to get out of that jam and was one strike away from getting there. And then, boom, all that work goes to waste. From zero damage to a three-run homer in the blink of an eye. Standing in now, Marcelo Zuna takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one-two. Hit hard on the ground a second, and that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Back-to-back -back change -ups. He spit on the first one, recognized it well, 14, saw the second 14, one, and didn't miss it for the base hit. Stepping in now, Martin Prado. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Reynolds is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Another good inning here for the Marlins. Who says fans don't love their baseball in Miami? More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Welcome back to South Florida. It's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings Your of play. Sean Gilmartin now enters from the, the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with Sean which to work. Gilmartin. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. He's got it one away. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman David Wright. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And that ball's not intentional. That was a, not even a fastball. Relax. Relax now people. I know we get excited when the ball's up and in. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. The batter, catcher, Renee Striding in Rivera. once again, Rene Rivera. He went down on strikes last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Ozuna is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Down in order go the Mets. They'll need better than that. Down 11 to 5. Ready once again, JT Real Muto. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Rafael Montero is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Travis Darno will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. The pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. One out. The batter number three, shortstop. Here's Echeverria now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Oh. 
Here it comes on one and one. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one and two pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Ready on one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Now this is what baseball's about. A pitcher and a hitter going back and forth. Foul ball, strike, foul ball. I can't wait to see how this ends. Another payoff pitch. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Matt Dendecker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 15, Matt Dendecker. Two out, nobody on. Rip down the first base line. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. He'll get it into second. And he's safe. Well, this is one of those advantage counts. Did a great job of working to get to this point and didn't the miss the pitch. Second baseman. Ready for Steve another shot now. Gordon. D. Gordon. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Off trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And not in time as the run scores. And those are plays that cost you ball games. You're already losing, and then you make an error like that to compound things. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. In now, Christian Yelich throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. So it's one run on one hit, one error, and one man left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Marlins 12 and the Mets 5. David Phelps comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. David And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Now the pitch. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's 2 and 2 now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now Getting late in the day first here, baseman. and as this has yeah, been a long one, 16. we check out our line score to this point. The scoreboard operator is going to sleep well tonight because, as you can see, he's been a pretty busy man through the first seven and change. Now to the plate, Gavin Cicchini. He's two for three thus far. One and one, here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. This is line to left, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. 
one of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. In the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he. Can't. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left home run number two for him on the year as they try to claw back it's a five run deficit. Well that pitch was up in the zone sometimes on a pitch like that all you've got to do is just touch it. You can see he got the barrel up there and because the height of the pitch the Here ball's trajectory is going to carry now out of the ballpark. The Junichi Tazawa come on now and make his 55th Junichi. appearance of the year. Into the box now as Drubal Cabrera and he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The left fielder number four stepping into the box Wilmer Flores he's working on a one for three thus far. Has a look now the pitch. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Another hit, another multi-hit game. He has been on some kind now of hot batting. streak. They better start right paying fielder, attention to him. Yoannis Cespedes. Stop right here. Into the box, Yoannis Cespedes. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one well two on two outs and He's got himself in a great hitters count just has to be careful not to get too aggressive a Walk would be good here too called a strike and it's full of three and two two down runners at first and second Lifted in the air to center field Yelich is under it And that retires the side so two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and a couple of men left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Miami's out in front, 12-7. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And the pitch on two and one. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Two and two count. Here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now another two two. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo home run. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. And that is 27 for him on the year as it's now a six run ball game. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Stepping in now, Justin Bohr. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Well, he hung that one and he didn't miss it. That's what you do. Hang it and bang it. Marcel. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a ball lying towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And to score, the runner from second. 
Whoa, he hung that change up. That ball was hit hard. Lucky to keep that one in the Third ballpark. Baseman, number 14, Martin Prado. Standing in now, Martin Prado. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now batting. At the plate, JT Realmuto. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Hit in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now with the plate, Adani Echevarria. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Two out here and a runner at second. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Cespedes. We'll get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We've played eight full. The Marlins lead it 14 to 7. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Hit hard down the line. A dive, but it's by him down the line. Well, another base hit from him, and I tell you what, he's been impressive on this road trip. He's well, making a huge remember. impact not only on his Rafael team, but on the team Montero. that he is facing. T.J. Rivera will get the call Vincent here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back. And there goes Wright. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Yelich is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter and here 15, to hit now is Matt base. Reynolds. 0 Matt for 3 with Reynolds. an RBI in this one. Now a throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. There goes the runner. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. First baseman number two. Now batting, Gavin Cicchini. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. And now this crowd of 27,000-plus rise to their feet. Oh, 
And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he will make the catch here to end things. And the Marlins will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven-run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? 14 to 7, the final tally here. Miami with a big 17 hit attack. Brian Ellington earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. Steven Matz worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. A reminder that Marlins shuttle buses are available outside. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers and Yankees. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year?